parabola. So in case of parabola, uh, first I will demonstrate how parabola is formed by cone. Okay. See if this is a cone and a plane cuts this cone this way. Okay. There's a plane which cut this cone this way. So the cone will look like a, like a, this at this side somewhat like this okay a curved shape like here okay i am uh, drawing this area of uh, this region okay i have rotated this cone and the area will look like that okay so uh if we write the definition of parabola or you can say the how we demonstrate it, it is the set of points, okay, which are equidistant from a fixed point. and a fixed line. Okay, let me explain. See, if there is a coordinate, like this is y axis and z axis, and for a fixed point, a fixed point is lie some, uh, somewhere here. Okay, it can lie in x axis, y axis. Let's say the fixed point is this, and a fixed line is this one okay and this uh, the fixed line is called as directrix directrix okay this is a fixed line and this fixed point is called focus okay so the set of points set of points means if there is a point a uh, lie here Okay, uh, it is a set of points which are equidistant from the fixed point and a fixed line means it is equidistant from this point also and from this line, which means that if we draw a line like this and like this, okay, if the point, uh, let's say the point is P and uh, that fixed point is F and the point on the direct axis is S, okay, so what does it mean that if the equidistant from the fixed point and a fixed line, which means that PS will be equals to PM, sorry, uh, that PF, yes. Yes. Okay. From the definition, it says the equidistance from the fixed point and a fixed line, which means that this point is equidistant from this line also, and this focus also. And if we take another point here, uh, uh, like this, the point like uh, if the point is T, then the this distance, and this distance, both distance will be same, which means that TS will be equals to TF. Okay, understood? Yes, sir, I didn't understand about the fixed uh, line. The fixed line that? is a directrix. Okay, and the fixed line is at the position of, like, uh, let's say the fixed point, which is focus, is at a distance A, okay? A comma zero. From origin, it is at a distant A, okay? And the directrix is also the distance A from that origin. Okay, so what will be the coordinates of this point? Minus A. Minus A comma zero. Okay, we always take the uh, focus as uh, A. Okay. Uh, so note it down, then we will proceed. Note also that is a fixed point is focus and fixed line is directrix. And see, 
uh, if the focus lie on the x axis, okay, and the directrix is also lying on perpendicular to x axis, then this line, the line on which the parabola will form, is called the axis. Okay, so uh, the line which passes through the focus. Focus and perpendicular to the directrix. You can see here that this line is perpendicular to directrix. Yes. Perpendicular to the directrix is called axis. Okay. Now noted that. I finished noting it down. Okay. So the parabola look like this. If we draw the parabola on the positive side of x axis, the parabola will look like this. Having focus at a comma zero. Okay. And the directrix at minus a comma zero. Can you tell me the equation of this line? What will be the equation of this line? Uh, no. Equation of this line will be x is equals to minus a. Y is equal to zero. Okay. No, no. Y equals to zero is a uh, y is equal to zero will be what? This line. Yes. This is y axis. This is x axis. When we say uh, x is equals to one, then, uh, then the equation of this line will be what? This line uh, it will look like this having uh, this will intersect the x axis at one comma zero. This is the equation of x is equals to one. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes sir. Lines go. Yes sir. So the equation of this line will be x is equals to minus. Here. Okay. And also the where the uh, let's say the parabola intersect the origin. Okay, this point where the parabola intersect the origin is called as vertex. Okay, this is a vertex of parabola. Okay. Now let's see uh, the how to derive this. This will not ask in your exam. We will just derive. Okay, the point P lies here, having coordinate x comma y. Okay, we don't know the value of x and y, and this point a comma zero, which is at focus. So we will draw it like this. And if we take this line, so what will be the coordinates of this point? X comma z, uh, x is equal to minus coordinates. X. Yes. What will be the coordinates of this point? This line is uh, aligned with this point. Okay. These are this is straight line. Um, minus a. Hmm. Comma y. Y. Good. Minus a comma y. So, uh, can we find the distance between this P S and uh, this focus F? Can we find the distance of P S and P F? Yes. Through distance formula, if we know that x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Yes. So how can we write the distance between P and S? P S will be what? X plus A whole square plus y minus y whole square. Now tell me the distance between P and F. P F ke distance nikal ke batai. It will be x square plus a square plus two 
X A. No, just tell me uh, in the way that I have written this. Do not open this bracket. I did not understand. Uh, tell me the distance of P F in this way. Okay, x two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square. So what will be the x two, x one, and y two, y one in both of these cases? P F. X two would be x. Okay. And then x one would be a. Yes. So x minus a whole square. Yes. Plus y minus zero whole square. Yes. Okay. Now, as we know that the parabola itself says that P S will be equal to P M. Sorry, P F. Yes. Ah uh, yes. So P S is equals to P F. Now we will equate both this equation. So x plus a whole square plus y minus y will be zero. Will be zero, and equals to P F. P F is what x minus a whole square. Plus y minus zero whole square. Now we will square both these side. Yes. So x plus a whole square will be equal to what x minus a whole square plus y square. Yes. Now we will open these uh, square brackets. X square plus a square plus two x a equals to x square plus a square minus two x a. Plus y square. Now, both of these terms will be cancelled out. A square, a square. Now, if minus two x a is here side, we can take this on the left side. So y square will be equal to what? Two x a plus two x a. So y square will be four a x. Okay. So this is the equation of parabola. This is the equation of parabola okay yes so note it down I've written it down. Okay. So can you tell me the axis of this parabola? What is the axis of this parabola? On which axis the parabola lies? The for the x-axis. Yes, x-axis. And what will be the equation of x-axis? You just told me. Um. Equation of x would be minus a. No, what then, is the equation of x axis? Equation of x axis is y equals to zero, and equation of y axis is x is equals to zero. Okay, that's how we write. Okay. Okay. Now uh, we will use some other formulas. See. We have written y is equals to four x. Okay, so y equals to four x. We have drawn the figure like this. Okay, so here x is what positive. Okay. Yes, sir. So we will create it curved side on the positive direction of x axis. This is type of a trick you can say. Okay. So the next type of parabola is y equals y square equals to minus times four x. Okay, so this figure will look like this. Okay. Yes, sir. So 
द वर्टेक्स विल रिमेन द सेम जीरो कॉमस जीरो ओरिजिन पे ही वर्टेक्स है नाउ कैन यू टेल मी द फोकस it would be a no in this case the focus was a okay now in this case the focus lies here minus a minus a comma 0 yes. okay and the directrix what is the equation of directrix in this case in this case it would be a yes x equals to a x equals to a yes, yes? हमेशा इसकी ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन में डायरेक्ट्रिक्स बनेगी ओके जैसे ये इस तरफ अपना फेस अलाइन कर रहा था सो द द डायरेक्ट्रिक्स लाइज ऑपोजिट टू इट सिमिलरली हेयर ओके इन द इक्वेशन वी सी दैट पाई इज पॉजिटिव सो व्हाई डू वी ड्रॉ अ पैराबोला एट बोथ साइड्स नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव वाई See this negative sign uh, just symbolizes its nature of curve. Okay, ये ये नहीं show करता कि y square equals to something अगर uh, something x है तो अगर y square is equals to हमने x लिख दिया इसका ये मतलब नहीं है कि ये square value हमें negative दे रहा है कुछ. It just represents how the curve will show like it will show like this or like this. Okay, but we will use this formula in uh, questions. Like minus and plus also. Okay, you will yes, understand sir. later when we will do question. Okay. Now there is another type of parabola which is x square equals to four a y. There are four types of parabola, and fourth one is x square equals to minus four a y. So you can guess that this type of parabola is going to be what type of parabola? What type of parabola is going to be what type of parabola? the um, the focus would be a no uh, tell me how it will look like on the this graph would it be on the y axis yes it will be on the y axis it and you can see the y is positive here yes so it will look like this okay now yes. the fo now tell me the focus of This parabola. What will be the focus? Focus would be y. Ah, uh, sorry, a. Yes. And what will the coordinates of focus? Zero um, comma a. A. Yes. And uh, where the directrix will lie? No. Uh, at uh, y is equal to minus a. Y equals to minus a. The coordinate will be here is zero comma minus a, and the equation of directrix is equals to y equals to minus a. And uh, where is the vertex of this parabola? It, um, it is again on the origin, right? An origin. Origin. A B B origin. Pe. Now tell me the. Curvature of this parabola. It would be on y-axis, and its focus would be on uh, minus negative. Uh, negative, yes, zero comma minus y. So the zero comma minus a, and the directrix will be there in the upper side. Is zero comma a. So here focus is zero comma minus a, and directrix is y equals to a. Okay, yes. understood? Yes. Okay, and there is a another thing. Uh, so you have noted uh, first noted down, then we will proceed later. There is a term called lattice vector.
I have noted it down. Okay. See, there is a term known as latest latest rectum. Okay. So latest rectum is if can if we can see the parabola like the uh, general parabola. Okay. The, uh, what is the formula of this parabola? What type of this parabola is? Having focus at a comma zero. This is y square equals to four ax. Yes. These type of uh, equations, y square is equal mm -hmm. to x. Besides x and y, nothing can change. Yes, beside x and y, nothing can change. But you can see on the question, this four a part will change the parabola curvature also. Okay, so uh, I am on this topic also. Okay, the four a is latest rectum. Okay. Not a lattice rectum, but a length of lattice rectum. Okay, so we will derive it from the figure. See, if a line which is perpendicular to focus, okay, so it is a perpendicular to focus. Okay, this way, it is intersecting at this point and this point also. Okay. Uh, now tell me the distance between these two points, origin and directrix. Uh, minus uh, distance is a. A. Okay. So the coordinate is zero comma. Uh, sorry, minus a comma zero. Okay. And this is also a distance. A distance a. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So the total distance will be what two a. Now tell me, what will be the uh, what will be this distance? This one. Two a. This will also be two a. Okay. Let's say this point is P, this point is F, which is focus, and this point is uh, S. Okay. We know that P S is equals to P F. Yes, in parabola, this uh, this equality always satisfy. P S is equals to P F. If there is a point on parabola, then the distance between this point and the point on parabola will be equal to the point on parabola and the focus distance. Yes, we know that from uh, initially. So if this distance is two a. Then this distance will be what? PF will be what? If PS is equals to two a, then PF will be what? A. What? A. Two a. Two PF. Yes, PF. If PS is equals to PF, then if PS is two a, then PF will also be two a. Understood. In different type of parabola, mm -hmm. it was where uh, the parabola is on the y-axis. Mm -hmm. So on that, we only in that example that the focus is A. Mm -hmm. But on in that example, uh, on the x-axis, it would be uh, 2A, the distance of P and F. No, no, focus is always at a distance A from the origin. And this distance was always 2a. As I told you earlier, uh, if we take this example of the parabola on a y-axis. Okay. The parabola on a y-axis. See, the focus lies here at 0, comma a. And the directrix is here, which is also at a distance a from origin. 
this total distance was 2a earlier also. There is nothing change between this parabola and this parabola. Distance remains, remains same in these type of equation. Okay, understood? Or there is another doubt? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so... See, so PS is equals to PF, then PS, if PS is 2A, then PF will also be 2A. Yes, and if PF is 2A, see, we can uh, use the same procedure, uh, procedure from here itself also. Uh, yes, sir. We can draw this line perpendicular to this again also. And what will be this, this distance? 2a again. Let's say this point is m and this point is uh, t. Then what will be mt? 2a. 2a. Then what will be ft? F t would be 2a. 2a. So therefore, the total distance, total distance, which is pt. Can you see PT? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Distance between this point and this point is will be what? 4A. 4A. So this is the length of lattice rectum. Okay. So the length of lattice rectum. Okay. This PT is lattice rectum. Okay. Understood? Uh, yes, sir. See, all another, which we have also studied parabola. Before that, there was a point that I took the focus of just perpendicular upper. Pe nahi liya tha, is, jase P point. Ye. P point we have taken anywhere. If we have taken the P point here. Okay. This lattice rectum case is valid. When this point is perpendicular like this. When we can take the lattice rectum. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 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 This should be perpendicular line, not like this. That agar hamara parabola aisa hai, the focus is F, and this PT lies somewhat like here. Okay, this P and T. You can see the PT is making something, some angle, not 90 degree to x-axis. Okay, this is inclined, not perpendicular to x-axis. So this PT is not let us rectangle. Okay, understood between this line and this line. This is lattice rectum. This line is not a lattice rectum. If it's perpendicular to yes. the x-axis. If it is perpendicular to x-axis and passing through this focus, then only it is a lattice rectum. Otherwise, this is not a lattice rectum. Okay. Uh, so, 4A decides the curve of the parabola. X decides the axis. Yes, 4A means 4A does not decide the curve. It decides the size, you can say. Okay. It changes the curvature of parabola. If there is a like y square is equals to 4A, uh, not a 4X, it's just like y square is equals to X. Okay. There is no 4A means what will be 4A here? 1? Yes, this yes, is 1 multiplied by X. So in place of 4a there is what only one so the figure of this type of parabola will be different from y square is equals to like 8x okay there are if there is 4a changes the parabola will change eventually okay that we will see in the examples jawab thoda better samjhoge ki 4a se kya kya changes aate hain इसकी आप डेफिनेशन भी लिख लीजिए पहले आप इसे नोट कर लीजिए उसके बाद डेफिनेशन लिखा देता हूं मैं लेटेस्ट रेक्टम
I have written. Okay. So you write the definition. The line. Segment. Passes through. Focus. Okay. And. Perpendicular. Two axes of parabola. So, in that case, what is the axis of parabola here? This is the x axis. Okay. So, perpendicular to axis of parabola, whose end point. is on the parabola is called let us rectum okay the line segment which passes through the focus okay it was passing through the focus and is perpendicular to the axis of parabola so in this case the axis of parabola is what x axis so it is perpendicular to x axis and passing to the focus एंड उसके एंड पॉइंट्स जो है वो पैराबोला पर ही लाई कर रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि पैराबोला ऐसा है फोकस से ही पास हो रहा है परपेंडिकुलर भी है लेकिन इस टाइप से जा रहा है ऐसा नहीं इसके एंड पॉइंट्स जो है वो पैराबोला पर ही लाई करने चाहिए वहीं पर जाके एंड एंड होने चाहिए लाइक दिस दिस वे ओके नाउ अंडरस्टूड I have noted it. Okay. There is a question. Find the coordinates of focus. Vertex and equation of directrix and length of latus rectum okay of y square equals to twenty x okay so. If y square equals to twenty x, from which equation we can compare this? Which equation of parabola? Y square is equal to four a x. Y square is equals to four a x. Okay. So now in place of four a, what is given here? Uh, twenty. Twenty. So we will compare both of these equation. Now there is x. There is x. This is a y square. Y square. Now we will just compare four a with twenty. Means four a will be equals to twenty. Yes. Yes. So a will be what five. Yes. So this equation, which will look like this type, okay, this type. So what will be the focus here of this equation? We have written a equals to five. So, what is the focus of parabola? A comma um, zero. It be five comma zero. Yes, so it will be the five comma zero. And uh, what is will be the equation of directrix? This is focus. Okay. X Then equal the, to minus five. Minus five. Equation of directrix will be what? X equals to minus five. So minus five will somewhere look like this. X equals to minus five. Coordinates will be minus five comma zero. Okay. What will be the vertex of this equation? This parabola. Zero. Zero comma zero. Yes. And what will be the latus rectum? It would be ten. No. Uh, 
और माइनस टेन टोटल क्या होती थी इधर टू ए इधर टू ए टोटल क्या होती थी फोर एर बी ट्वेंटी 20. 4a is what? 20 given हमें पहले से. So the length of lattice rectum will be what? 20. Okay, understood? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Note it down. Then tell me all these type, uh, all these equation like focus, directrix, vertex, and length of rect length uh, length of lattice rectum of uh, y square equals to Um, 35x. Okay. After noting this part, solve this. I have written and for uh, the question you have given, thirty five uh, y square is equal to thirty five x. Mm -hmm. So a would be equal to thirty five by four. Yes, a would be thirty five by four. As and a, so it can be a fraction. Yes, it can be a fraction also. Okay. Okay. So what will be the equation of directrix? Um. Equation would be thirty 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 five by four. Ah, uh, minus x equals to minus thirty five by four. Yes. And what would be the length of lattice rectum? Length of lattice rectum would be um two four into a. Hmm. See, lattice rectum is what four a. It be thirty five. Thirty five. It will be thirty five. We just compare four a with this. This will be thirty five. So this here twenty is lattice rectum. Here thirty five is lattice rectum. Yes. Anything which is the coefficient of x. Okay. Coefficient of x is what here thirty five. Anything which is coefficient of x will be the lattice rectum. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now there is a question. Find the equation of parabola. With focus at two comma zero, okay, and directrix x is equal to minus two, okay. So tell me the. Equation of parabola. Okay, first tell me what type of parabola is. It is y square equals to minus four x type. It's x square is equals to four a y or y square is equals to four x. What type of parabola is this? Um, it it would be y square is equal to uh, x square is equal to four y four a y. On which axis focuses? 
uh, it, it's on x axis so can it be y x square is equals to 4ay or x square equals to minus 4ay so it's uh, y square is equal to 4ax yes it will be on y square is equals to 4x and why y, y square equals to 4ax not minus 4ax because it because the focus is on positive side. positive side of x axis yes so the parabola will look like something this 2 comma 0 this and the directrix is at x equals to minus 2 which means the directrix lies here minus 2 comma zero okay so what the equation of parabola y square equals to 4x okay uh, yes sir so what is a here in this parabola um two two so the equation of parabola we got four into two into x four y square is equals to eight x okay this is the equation of parabola Yes, sir. Easy is it. You just A find karna hai, the questions. Okay. I have noted it. Okay. See, there is another question. Now you will solve this equation. Find equation of parabola with vertex at origin means 0, 0. And focus is at 0, 2. Can focus. vertex can vertex ever be not at 0, 0? Yes, the parabola can be like this also okay now if this point is one comma zero means minus one comma zero then the vertex of this parabola is minus one comma zero okay okay yes the parabola also look like somewhere there is a uh, in this type of question the parabola is on x-axis and y-axis okay in uh, when you study later, you will find the parabola look also like this. Uh, this way also. Okay. So this, uh, if this line is passing through the vertex, so this is the axis of parabola. Yes. So the axis will also change later on. I think in CBSE, the rotation of axis is not in J means and advanced. There is the rotation of axis. Are you uh, uh, studying for J or any uh, K -set, K -set. or you are a commerce student? I am studying for K -set. Yes, sir. Okay, so this entrance is for what state? Which state? Uh, Karnataka. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so solve this equation. Um, give me uh, this question. Which I have given. What will be the equation of parabola? Yeah, 
is it x square is equal to one by two x or y? Sorry. You tell me uh, this will equation like x square equals to something or x uh, y square equals to something or x is equals to something. X x square is equal to. Okay. Now the focus lies on the positive direction of y axis. Yes. So the figure will look like something this. Yes. And focus is here as zero comma two. So what is the equation of this x square equals to four a y? Yes. And four a is. Will be what? Four a would be two. Four into two. Two two four. Yes eight. So x square will be what? Eight x. Uh, sorry eight y. Eight y yes. Okay. Now there's another question. Find equation of parabola uh, with vertex at zero comma zero, okay. and which is symmetric about y-axis. Okay. It is symmetric about y axis, which means it can be like this. It can be like this. Okay. The symmetry means y axis per symmetry cut and passes through the point two comma minus three. Okay. Can you visualize the parabola as a figure? Uh, yes, or it would be on the y axis. Yes, it will be on the y axis having a vertex at origin. Okay, now where 2, comma 3 lies in which quadrant? This is first quadrant, second quadrant, third, and fourth. In It'll which quadrant 2, comma th minus 3 will lie? Fourth, fourth. Fourth. Okay, so positive two hai and negative four. So two comma three will lie somewhere. Let's say if this is one, this is two, this is one, two, and three. So two comma minus three will look like this here. Two comma minus three. Okay. See, if the parabola have vertex zero, so it can be like this, or can be like this. Okay, and the question has given that the parabola passes through comma two comma three. So will it be this parabola or this parabola? The one on the negative y-axis. Negative y-axis. So we will take the parabola on the negative y direction. So the equation of uh, the parabola, which is on the negative direction of y-axis, is what what we have studied. Uh, it would be x square is equal to minus 4ay. Yes, x square equals to minus 4ay. So, in this case, the parabola is passing through 2 comma minus 3. Okay. See, I have taught you that if the circle, uh, in circle chapter, okay, the equation of the circle is what? x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Okay. In, in one question, I have uh, given that if the point, there is uh, there was something point like one comma two, <clears throat> which is on the circle. So this point satisfies this equation. Yes, sir. Uh, in case of, uh, in place of X and Y, we put uh, X one and two. Yes? Yes. So similarly in this question, we have given the parabola passes through two comma minus three, which means that two comma minus three will satisfy this equation because yes. this point is on the parabola. Na? So if this is x square equals to minus four a y, then this, uh, this equation, uh, this point lie on this equation, which means this point will lie on this parabola also can satisfy. But where would be the a? See x square equals to minus 4 a y when we put 
x and y. What is x and y here? It will be 2 square is equal to mm -hmm. minus 4a minus 3. Minus 3. So can we find out the value of a from this equation? Yes. So uh, 4 upon minus minus will become positive. Yes. 4 upon 12 equals to a. So a will be what? 1 upon 3? Yes. Now we'll again put the value of a in this equation. So x square will be equals to what? Minus 4 into a. What is the value of a? 1 by 3 into y. So the equation of parabola was 4 by 3 y. Yes. Understood? Yes. In this question, what uh, the question teaches you that how to satisfy the point on the parabola. If we have given a point on a parabola, then that point will satisfy the equation. Okay. Yes, sir. So note this. I have noted. Okay. Uh, now I will tell you about the change in a vertex of a parabola. Let's say if there is a parabola. Okay. Mm, not my graph. This is a parabola like this. Okay. And the vertex is uh, like h comma k okay the vertex is on h comma k and the parabola is on x axis or, or you can say any axis we don't know so this type of parabola we know that y square equals to 4ax type yes it is a type of this this type of parabola okay but the values of y and x will change the y in, in place of y we write y minus k whole square equals to 4a. In case of x, we will write x minus h whole square. Sorry, whole square, not uh, only x minus h. See, in case of circle, what we have studied, that if there is a circle with h comma k center and uh, x comma is on a point, then what was the equation? x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Okay. So there was a case in which the center lies on the origin. So what was the equation of uh, that circle in which the center lies on the origin? Yes, the center lies on the origin. H and K will, will become? Uh, mm -hmm. X and Y. Yes, uh, if the circle lies on the, uh, the center of the circle lies on the origin. Then what will be the equation of circle? The equation of circle. H and K would be a zero. Yes. So the H and K would be zero means X square plus Y square will be equal to R square. Yes. Yes. So in case of parabola, we from initially studied that the parabola having vertex on the center. So the equation was this. And the general equation having like, like the in case of uh, the circle. The center lies on h comma k. Now we are taking for parabola also that the center means the in case of parabola the vertex. Vertex lies on h comma k. Okay. So the equation will change like the uh, circle uh, did. Like uh, y square equals to 4x. Then 
in case of y we will put y minus k in case of x we will put x minus h okay this is a parabola with vertex h comma k okay so if there is a question uh, uh like uh, i have seen here it is yes here it is the vertex of a parabola okay the vertex is um, minus 3 comma 0 okay and the directrix is the line the directrix directrix is x plus 5 equals to 0 okay this is the equation of directrix then the equation of parabola then it is asking for equation of parabola okay we will solve it uh, after you note it down first note this okay then we will solve this equation Okay, done. Have you written? Yes, 